Hey guys, what's going on? This is Custom Blocks here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my version of a Lego Flux capacitor from Back to the Future. Back to the Future is one of my favorite movies of all time, and I'm a diehard Cubs fan, so I admit I was a little bitter at Back to the Future 2 after the Cubs didn't win the World Series in 2015, but they won it the next year, so that kind of made me feel a little better. But to get back on track, you're going to start off with a 4x8 and an 8x8, and you're going to connect the two with this 6x6 six six black piece. Then you're going to take a 4x6 and fill in the rest of the space, leaving a row of 1x whatever around the outside. And then you're just going to fill that in with a bunch of 1x something pieces. I'm using two 1x8s on the ends and then some 1x10s around the outside to make the back of the frame. So now let's get into building the sides. There are two sides that are built like this. So what you're going to need is a 1x12 and then a 1x12 tile. You're going to place that on top. And then you're simply going to then put plates along the top to have two identical sides like this. And now we can build the other sides. The last sides were really simple and these are two. You're just going to need a 2x6 then put a 2x6 plate on top and then put some tiles so that it's the same height and now you've got all the sides built and we can build little thingies on the inside of the flux capacitor. We're going to be building a th three of these pieces right here as so you can see what they look like and three of these as well. So we're going to start by just putting the tile of trans glue on top of the 1x2 and then a 1x1 one one stud underneath and for this we're going to put this 1x1 one one modified block upside down attach a yellow 1x1 one one brick and then attach a 1x2 red plate going the opposite direction and now that we have all the pieces for the flux capacitor let's put everything together. We're going to begin by putting on the sides because it'll help us know where to put all of the other things so that's simple enough. And this leaves just a black space in the middle, which is what you want. You're going to take these, and you can see I'm placing it right on here with one stud left above the top of the ring. And I'm going to place the second one on here like so. The very bottom one. I'm going to turn sideways and I'm going to place it right here and now we're going to take the red need, the reds need to stay the same but you can kind of angle the yellow in the middle of the circle towards the sides and that'll give us some more room sorry about that sorry for bumping the camera and that's going to give us room to put on all of these sections. So these pieces should be able to go on like so. Just kind of placing it right here in between those four studs. And it's a little tricky, I admit, to get in there, but once you do it stays pretty well. And then the last one is just going to be between these four studs right here. And you just set that in there like so. And this is the completed flux capacitor. I'm really proud of the way this turned out and I hope you guys are too. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos.